multi-million dollar test tonight on the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of 17 international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games, yes, the, four. We got the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. In Reno, six players. $2.8 million. Cash is piled high in the biggest little city. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. I'm Mike Sexton alongside Vince Van Patten, and we're in the biggest little city in the world for the biggest game in town, the nearly $3 million World Poker Challenge. That's right, Mike. We are back at the Reno Hilton for the 16th and final stop on the World Poker Tour this season before we go to the WPT Championships at Bellagio. And let me tell you, this is the last chance for any player to take home a WPT regular season event here in the World Poker Tour and put his name up with the big giants of the game of poker. Well, you're right, Vince. The winner tonight can put his name in the history books. He can also put his name on a nice check. First prize tonight, over a million dollars. Oh, man, it's always about the money with you, huh, Mike? <laughs> Where is your love for the game, my friend? Hey, I love the game, but it's the money that I love about the game. I know. It's a very attractive part of it. I know. It's not just about the camaraderie amongst our fellow risk takers. Anyway, we started three days ago. 592 players put a $5,000 each, and right now, 586 players are busted. They are on the side. They are railbirds, because we are down to our final six. Starting out in six chip position tonight with 830,000 in chips is Greg Mueller from White Rock, Canada. Greg is a former professional hockey player, and he's going to be looking to put cash and not the puck into the net tonight. Starting out in fifth chip position with 880,000 in chips is 33-year-old Jason Stern from San Jose, California. Jason is a former poker dealer who has turned poker pro. Okay, moving over to fourth chip position, it is Jonas Norman from Sweden. He's got $905,000. Got this tournament through a $6 satellite event. Second time ever playing in a live event. Moving over to third chip position from Phoenix, Arizona, is Tom Schneider. He, now, he's an aspiring stand-up comedian, of all things. He's got 1,020,000 in chips. Starting out in second chip position tonight with nearly 1.1 million in chips is two-time WPT champion Barry Greenstein. Dubbed the Robin Hood of poker because he donates all of his tournament winnings to charity, Barry is looking to tie Gus Hansen tonight as the winningest player ever in the history of the World Poker Tour. Okay, and our chip leader tonight with $1,195,000 is Michael Simon. Now, he is not a professional player at all. In fact, by trade, he is a baker. First time we've had a baker at the final table. Will the baker take home the big dough this evening? <laughs> well, this is going to be a good one, Mike. Right now, the cards are ready to fly. The players are ready to cry. Let's go down to the felt. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. The final table of the World Poker Challenge about to get underway. And Vince, it's Robin Hood and his band of merry men all mm -hmm. going after over a million dollar first prize tonight. Let's talk about the Annies. The Annies will be $3,000 each. The blinds in the beginning will be twelve and $24,000. We got a lot of players with about the same amount of chips. Let's go down to the table. It's going to be on Greg Mueller, the former hockey player. This time Raisin. he looks down at a pretty good hand. Ace queen, Mike. Yep, and he's reaching for raising chips. He's going to make it 85,000 to go here. Over to Tom Schneider. Looks at the jack seven, throws it away. I know. The baker with a decent hand. King, queen, off suit. Let's see how he goes with this. Oh, look at this, Vince. He's put the apron on. The goggles come down. Re -raise. <laughs> he is coming over the top with a re-raise here. Oh. And he is dominated right now by the hockey player. 200,000. The baker's going to put a little powdered sugar on this bet. Wow, 200,000 on a king, queen. And right behind him is Jason Stern. And look at this, the former poker dealer. He's got a pair of kings wired. Wow. He's saying to himself, here it is, the first hand. It's been raised and re-raised, and I've got two kings. Now the question is, how does he want to play them? Former professional card dealer, only been playing poker now. For a year, he goes all in with it. Well, he's coming over the top going all in. Oh. He's saying to him, if you guys got the aces, good luck to you. Now it's on Jonas. He goes out with a jack eight. Barry quickly folding. Now let's get back to the two Razors. The Canadian hockey player first. He's got the ace queen. He quickly mucks his hand. And on the baker now, Michael Simon, also known as the Greek, with just king queen. 
Well, Vance, he's going to be known as burnt bread, perhaps, if he decides to call with this king queen here. <laughs> I just can't imagine you can call an all-in re-raise here with the king high. Look at this, the baker looking over at Jason Stern. You know, I said I feared you the most, so I'll fold it. <laughs> he finally does All it. right, well, he does lay it down. And Jason Stern, the former poker dealer turned poker pro, takes down pot number one and a pretty healthy pot at that. Yes, it was. A 33-year-old out of San Jose, California. Good start for him. And what action we had on hand number one. So with that pot, Jason Stern, the former poker yeah, dealer who's turned more. poker pro, takes Good the chip race, lead. Right. And Vince, you know, he's trying to join some pretty elite company in terms of guys who used to be dealers and have turned poker pro. We saw earlier this season Scotty win, win a WPT event, as well as Michael the Grinder, Ms. Rocky, win his second. So pretty good company there. You know, I think what they're doing is they're trying to get back at everyone because they didn't tip well. And this is their time. <laughs> well, <laughs> indeed it is. All right, action is on the Baker. Michael Simon throws away the Doyle Brunson hand, 10 deuce. Jason Stern has looked down at two kings one more time. Wow. Back-to-back -back kings. That is incredible. There is. He's got the two spoiled fat guys once again, the pair of kings. 66,000. Well, he says 66,000. Now it's on Jonas quickly folding his hand. Robin Hood of Poker Barry going out. Greg out. Well, around to Tom Schneider now, who's in the big blind. I bet he's looked down at a pretty nice hand himself, ace-queen. Well, the man they call the donkey doesn't want to make a donkey move here, but he got a pretty good hand. Little do you know you have kings on the left ear. Yeah, that's all he's seen is aggression so far by Jason Stern. But look at this. Tom is going to oh. raise it. He's going to make it 196,000 to go. Puts on the goggles. Could be a massive mistake here for Tom from Phoenix. Well, let's see what Jason's going to do with his kings this time. Come on, in. Tom staring straight down oh, at the table. Yeah. And again, Jason goes all in. Back on Tom Schneider with ace queen. The aspiring stand-up comedian. Well, he's not laughing right now. <laughs> well, all they've seen out of Jason Stern so far is raising and going all in. <laughs> now, because of the that WPT the camp brought to you by Budweiser, we can see he's got a powerhouse hand each time he's done it, but these players don't know that sitting at the table. That hand alert? I don't know. That's a big hand alert is what that is. <laughs> oh, gee. Well, you hear Tom moaning there. Well, you have this one. Well, he's going to lay it down. So Jason Stern off to a fast start here. And Vince, we know he's had the goods to make those moves, but I can tell you, all the guys at this table are scratching their heads, wondering what this guy's had these last two pots. Well, the former poker dealer dealing himself kings twice in a row, and it pays off in a big way. At this point in my life, I definitely could use the money. I didn't have any money saved up hardly at all, but it doesn't take a lot if you can get lucky. I'm Jason Stern. I'm a professional poker player from San Jose, California. So Jason Stern taking down yet another pot with two kings. And Vance, right now, you'd have to say he's king at this table. Well, he is definitely the chip leader with over $1.4 million. Back down on the table, right back on Jason. This time looks down at the Doyle Brunson hand, 10 deuce off suit. Has to go out. He's going to rest a hand. <laughs> Jonas goes out. Now it's around to Barry Greenstein. He's got King Eight of Diamonds. Well, he's in position, back near the button. Raises it, comes in for 75,000. Right behind him with the button, Greg Mueller with Queen Jack. He's going to lay it down. And now Tom Schneider. Three deuce off suit, can't play it, and the Baker, only one to beat. He's got ace eight off suit. Well, he's putting down the sunglasses. He knows Barry Greenstein is a very aggressive player, could raise with any two cards. You can see 
Michael wondering if his ace high is the best hand right now. I call. He's making the call here, Vince. Yes, he is. There's going to be action in this pot. We have ace eight for Michael Simon up against Robin Hood with king eight. What's this part called where the cards come out now? Here comes a flop. Oh, it's come eight, oh. eight, ten. Well, the baker checks and Vince. Unless Barry does a lot of slow playing here, he could be crunched in this hand. Well, buckle up. They both flop sets, and Barry's going to come out and bet $100,000. There's no way Michael's going to get away from this hand, and Barry's not getting away from his either, Vince. Barry Greenstein, the Robin Hood of poker, could take an arrow in the heart right here on this hand. Now look at Michael, the baker, scratching his head like he's got problems. We know he's doing the little... Irish jig underneath the table. Gonna raise. Well, that's I guarantee you right now. Barry is loving hearing this. Oh wow! And the raise is 140,000 in addition. Now Barry's got to be thinking he's still out in front. He's got three of a kind with a king kicker. Well, what he's thinking about, Vince, is how do I want to play this hand? Do I want to just call here and let the guy bet again on the turn? Or do I want to make a move right now? How much you have? Barry wants to know how much he's got left here. Barry does have a few more chips than him, not many more. This could be a complete debacle for Barry Greenstein. Well, Vance, I don't know how he could possibly get away from King 8 here. But there is two cards to come, so. Cool. Well, Barry's just calling here. Yeah, he thinks he's reeling his guy in. Well, he's going to wait to the turn to make his move. Well, the queen comes right no. off on the turn, and Michael goes all in. Michael. And a quick call by Barry Greenstein. Well, what a debacle. Well, Barry is going to be stunned when he sees his opponent's hand yeah. here. Oh, come on. And look at the baker. He is happy right now. Come on, hold up. Hold up. Bring the blank. Bring the blank. Oh, I got to watch. I got to watch. That's right. I got to watch. I could have erased three flops. Well, you see Michael's wife, Denise. She is sweating it out here. I don't know who's all in. Look at Barry, completely stunned. Well, if he's going to capture his third World Poker Tour title tonight, Vince, he better get lucky right here on the river. Here we go with the river. No, it's a four. Not going to do it for Barry. So Michael Simon taking it to the top professional player right there. Take the cookies out of that oven. The baker has done it. He has crushed Barry Greenstein. What action we are seeing in Reno. Stay tuned. We'll cover right back with more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, the Reno Hilton, the World Poker Challenge. I'm Vince Van Patten with Mike Sexton. Six players remain. And Vince, right now the crowd is stunned that the overwhelming favorite at this final table, Barry Greenstein, is down to the cloth. The baker just put him in the oven in that last pot, and Barry has just enough chips to play one round. Well, look at him. He is very deflated. Disillusioned. Well, Vince, he doesn't feel bad. He knows there's nothing you can do. It's what we call a cold deck in poker. Some hands you just can't get away from. All right, let's go back to the table on Jonas Norman, the $6 man. Got this tournament through a $6 satellite. And amazingly, this is only a second live tournament ever in his life, Vince. Well, he's getting chips out. He's going to make it 100000 to go with his nines. Now around to Barry, who's got an ace high. Yep. Does he want to make his move here? Nope. Throw it away now, Greg, uh, with a pair of fives. Sorry, Just getting started. I'm doing yeah. the best I can. Old Linus. Well, he lays down the two fives. Interesting. And now Tom Schneider with the button. He's got King Jack off suit. Well, he's got the Kojak. He's going to lay it down. Michael's still stacking. Sorry. Oh, boy. Well. It's a nice problem to have at the table, folks, when you're just stacking We're chips. Just you haven't even got time to look at your cards. He mucks it and goes back to stacking. And the only one to beat is Jason Stern. He's got a pretty decent hand. Ace, queen, off suit. 51,000 short of getting the book. Well, let's see 
Now if Jason wants to play it now. Does he want to just call the raise and see a flop? No cripple bounty. Does he want to come back over the top, or could in fact he just muck the ace queen? It's not kings, but it's not bad. Well, everybody that's had ace queen so far has re-raised it, and then later thrown their hand away, and their opponents moved in. Let's see what Jason's going to do here. I'm going to raise. He is going to raise. He's coming over the top. We get a total of 325. Well, he's going to make it 325,000 to go here. Into the online player with the nines. He's got the Wayne Gretzky hand, 99. Well, what is the novice going to do now? Here's the I thought he hit his queen. I thought she hit queen. He's up against the chip leader who has come back over the top of him with a re-raise. And now you have that middle I'm all pair. in. The two nines. Well, he's going all in with him. That's what he's doing. Jonas is going nowhere except for all in. Well, he's not going to just call and let the guy see a flop. Bring he's going to put him to the then. test right now. And Jason wants to see how many chips he has. 225 at least. I almost have to think he's pot committed, as we say here, Vince. 325,000 out there. Pot right now has got over a million, 200,000 in it. Well, he's getting over two to one odds on his money. And we know because the WPT cam, he'd be just a slight dog. Tough decision right here for Jason Stern. Good hand, man. Big hand over. Wow, he's got to lay this down. Seriously, turn it over. Be good for the team. Look at that, the big smile for Jonas for Norman, the man that got into this tournament Come through on. a six dollar satellite, built it up, and now he's going after over a million dollars. It's so what do you call it? Unreal. I started at the cheapest satellite. It cost me six dollars and sixty-four cents to get there. And I won three satellites in a row to get to the final. And from there I want to see it to win a Hilton. Sitting in seat six. It's a dream come true. I was uh, at Christmas watching WPT on television and dreamed about it, and now I'm going to play the final table. It's, it's all crazy. <laughs> By the way, those glasses that he's wearing actually come with windshield wipers and, and defogging <laughs> controls, too, if you want them. Oh, it's just an amazing story. His nickname is Sleep Events, but right now he is wide awake, going for over a million bucks. What a free roll he is on at this point. And now it is on our man, Barry, and he's got king five of hearts this time. Well, he's going all in, yeah. man. So he's going to play aggressive. Greg Muda folding. And now Tom Schneider, he's got a hand, though. King ten of diamonds. Well, he has Barry dominated. 66. Barry betting the total of 66,000. A call. Well, Tom Schneider is going to make the call out of the small blind. Yep, and right now the baker, Michael Simon, looking interested as well. Well, we got your King 10 versus Queen 5, and King 5 for Barry. Robin Hood deep in the forest. Here's the flop, ace, ace, three. Check. Well, both check. players check. So Barry Greenstein's tournament life on the ropes. Oh, man. Well, the king comes off. Now, Barry's made a pair of kings, as has Tom, but Tom has him out kicked, as we say. But for Barry to stay alive in this tournament, an ace, a king, a queen, or a jack has to come off. But they both check. Oh, it's a club. Oh. Michael Simon has made a flush. He's going to win this pot. Well, look at this. Tom has checked, and Michael says, you know what? 50000 I want you to pay me off a little bit for this flush. Oh, what a nice little value bet here. 50000 Well, Barry might have thought he had a chance when that king popped off of there, but when they're betting and calling on the river, Barry's probably not liking it now. Oh, and look at this. Barry Get knows with that bet, it's got to be doomsday. Barry Greenstein, our sixth place finisher. And the philanthropist is going to turn into a rail bird at this point as he signs his book, it looks like. Well, this is a custom of Barry Greenstein's. Anybody that knocks him out gets an autographed book. And right now they're going, Barry, forget the book. Just get out of here, okay? We'd rather play five-handed. A shocker here in Reno. Barry Greenstein out in sixth place. Five players remain. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Ace eight for Michael, King eight for Barry. It's a four spade. That's unbelievable. 
That's a cold deck city. That's sick, Barrels. Very sick. It's the cold deck of the, of the century right there. <laughs> Holy cow. Welcome back to the World Poker Challenge at the Reno Hilton in Nevada. I'm Vince Van Patten with Mike Sexton. Five players remain, and the antes are going up to $5,000. Blinds are going to be 20 and 40. And incredibly, the overwhelming favorite at this final table, the Robin Hood of poker, Barry Greenstein, has gone back to the forest. He is out in sixth place. And what a development we've got. We've got a guy who's a baker by trade, our chip leader, and a guy who got in this tournament for $6, playing in his second live tournament ever in second place here. Action on the ex-hockey player, Greg Mueller. This Grace. time looking down at the octopuses, pair of eights. And he's got the two snowmen. He's going to raise it to 130,000. Nice raise into Tom Schneider. He's got King Deuce. He goes out. Just for you. Well, Michael's going out. And now it is around to Jason Stern, and I can't oh. believe this. Look at this. Can you believe it, Vance? He's picked up Kings for the third time at this final table. I think this card dealer is a card rack. Three times with Kings. Now look at this. He's taking his time here. How to play this one. Well, you know he's going to play him, Vance. The other two times he had the Kings, he just came over the top and went all in. Well, I think it's a little dangerous to just call here, and I say that because if the big blind comes in the pot, now you've got to be two hands with the two Kings instead of one. I just didn't want to. I call. He is just limping in. He is calling this raise. He's going to slow play it. Jonah's quickly folding his hand. Okay, so we are heads up anyway. Jason has the two Kings and FBT for full bone tilt. That's his nickname. Greg Mueller, he has the two eights. Here comes a flop. Oh, oh it's ace, king, five. Jason has flopped a set of Kings. Not helping there, Greg, at all. And now let's see how he's going to play them, Vince. If he leads out, he's doing that because he hopes his opponent has an ace and he might get a lot of action on the hand. 150. He is firing 150,000 out there. Right behind him, a quick call by Greg Mueller. Doesn't yeah. believe Jason. Well, Vince, there you get a whiff of why he's called FBT for full-blown tilt. He might be doing it on this hand. Here comes the turn card, Jack of Diamonds. Well, now Jason's going to try to figure out how to trap him. 200. And he checked it, and quickly, Greg, biting right there. He's bet 200,000 into the set. How many more do you got, Greg? Uh, yeah. Well, what Jason's thinking about is, does he want to go all in now? And I can't imagine you could just call here because there's two diamonds on the board. 560. If your opponent's got a queen or a 10 in his hand, you wouldn't want to give him a free card that might beat your three kings here. Oh, Jason milking this for all it's worth. Come all in. He's moving all in here. And Greg Mueller, the Canadian hockey player, is not going to like that. Now, we know Greg has a pretty feeble hand. He finally throws away his eights. The charade is over. And that's going to be a big one for Jason Stern. And the hockey player, you, know, you might say, crossed the blue line at the wrong time there, Vince. Well, Greg Mueller is a great professional poker player, usually has Excellent instincts. That time, that just very know. wrong. What, what could I have? You huge thinking. What's what interesting about Greg, Vince, Vince, is when he plays poker, he always wears Both pajama bars, bottoms. Even here on the World Poker Tour final the table, the guy's got pajamas on. All right, action on Jason once again. From San Jose, California, this time looking down at Ace-5 offsuit. Don't do it to yourself. You just take a break. Well, he's under the gun in first position, but that doesn't slow him down, Vince. Shown is quickly folding. Greg going out. Tom is out. Oh, look at that. Tom has got the Unabomber look now, Vance. He's put on the hooded sweatshirt, but he folds. Not sure that's the guy to emulate at all times, but <coughs> nevertheless, action on the Baker. He looks down at a very uneventful 10-9 offsuit in the big blind. Don't always have to have a hand. Well, he's putting down his goggles. He's played every pot that he's done that. 
Baker once again looking down at his uneventful 10-9 offsuit. What is he going to do? Let's notice those sunglasses he's wearing. They're very reflective. You'd think when a guy looks back at his cards, could they be seen by his opponent in the glasses? Would they reflect? Yeah. I've thought about that, played against people like that, and made bad decisions by thinking I saw a card. <laughs> but look at this. He is going to call. He is putting the oven on preheat. <laughs> well, he is, is gambling here. I don't know. Sooner or later, something bad's going to happen. And here comes a flop. It's coming. Jack, six deuce. No help to either player. No. And the baker, Michael Simon, quickly checking it. Jason with his ace five checks well, as well. He checks right behind him. Now the seven of hearts comes off. That gives Michael a straight and flush draw. Things warming up a little bit. Now, Vince, here's where a professional player would bet, assuming their opponent had two big cards. But Michael's checking. And Jason 140. is not checking anymore. No free cards for the Baker here. No he bets 140,000. No hesitation whatsoever. That's 200. Notice Oops. he has a flush draw too, Oops. but it is smaller than Michael's. Just take a 10 ball off. Oops, I want too much money. This is a nice bet by Jason Stern here. If you're going to ask me a question, I need to at least hear what you said. I said, did you pick up a hard draw there? Oh, okay. I don't sure. know. Oh, you haven't looked back to find out? No, I know what I got. A little bantering between the two. Well, Michael asking if he picked up a hard draw, wondering if his hard draw is good if he makes his flush. Indeed it is, but he doesn't know it. Now, this is a problem. When you check, you're just on the defense as to whether you want to call or not why betting is such a better option because you put your opponent to the test rather than be guessing yourself oh boy and Jason trying to act relaxed he's gonna spit out that water if he gets cold down here well, this is a case that if you're gonna call a bet here you should have just gone ahead and bet yourself to start with and that's the problem now Michael finds himself in what to do now Well, the goggles are coming down, Vince. You think Michael could be thinking about making a play here and coming back over the top? Nope. Whoa. He's going to lay it down. All right. Button's right. Another one we got to watch on TV. So Jason Stern is going to pick up that pot. The wonder can we see a three of hearts, so he would have hit the higher flush. Yeah, had he not got bet out of that pot, Michael would have won that pot. Vince, you know, about this tournament, he wrote on his bio sheet, you know, it was my destiny to do well here this week. I would say that is forecasting it pretty good. I felt that there was some kind of destiny involved in this, and uh, up till the day before the tournament, I almost didn't play. But I felt, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'll go home broke. I think I'm here due to a lot of karma. I my grandmother passed away about uh, three, four months ago. I've got a picture with me at the table. No bad beats, no bad beats. Whenever I'm not sure and feeling a little confused, she's with me. I, you know, kind of hold the picture, touch it. And uh, calms me down. It's just, I, I can feel her presence. It's, it's scary almost. I made her some promises, so I'll have to be a good boy if it all comes true. So, got a little bit of work to do. All right, the antis and blinds are going up. The antis will be $10,000 each per player. The blinds are going to be thirty and $60,000. Action on the man from Phoenix, the aspiring stand-up comedian Tom Schneider. Well, the imitation Unabomber looks down at another bad hand, and 8-3 throws it away. Michael Simon, the baker out. Jason finally folding a hand. And now Jonas Norman in the small blind. He's got 8-7. Off suit. Now he's going to limp in here, wants to see a flop with it. And now the big blind is Greg Mueller. He's got 8-6. Raise. Well, he's the defenseman. 
Six foot four, 250 pounds. He's going to try to bully his opponent around here. Oh, and that is a bully raise there. 145 in addition. Well, what is Jonas thinking about here, Vince? Another 145,000 for him to call with the 8 7. Do you want to see a flop with his hand and call that raise? Hockey player is sweating in his pajamas right now. I'm all in. Oh, wow. What is this? Jonas has gone all in over the top here. And that's going to do it for the hockey player. His assumption absolutely correct. Thought he was getting bullied. He pushed back and he's going to take that pot. Well, I can tell you, he just put a wicked slap shot right past the defenseman there. Woo. What a play by Jonas Norman here. Well, you got to respect both players. Making moves with junk hands. That's what poker's all about. There's a lot more big time poker action to come from the biggest little city in the world. So stick around, we're coming back. They call it the biggest little city for a reason. I mean, up in Reno, you have all the excitement of a big city, but it's just condensed. They've jumped from, I don't know, 100 some, or probably the first year all the way up to uh, 592 entries, so that's pretty staggering. I've been coming here every year since as long as I can remember, you know. <laughs> I haven't come to Reno for years, but I like it, you know. It's a fun place to try to win a million dollars. One thing we do here in Reno is we cater to that working guy. A lot of events start at $1,000 and up. So players come in and they feel that they're part of a really large tournament and they can win a lot of money. Oh, yeah! Reno Hilton. It's a great place to be. Welcome back to the World Poker Challenge in Reno, Nevada. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. We are down to five players. And we're watching the largest poker tournament in the history of Northern Nevada tonight. Winner's going to take home over a million bucks. Back to the felt here. Quickly, Michael Simon, the Baker going out. Jason Stern now looking down at 9 6. Well, he goes out. Now around to Jonas. Quickly folding his queen six, and now Greg Mueller with ten six. I'm all in. Well, he's going all in, Vance. His bullying <laughs> tactics have yet to work so far tonight, but they work here. Tom Schneider laying his hand down. Nicely done by the short stack, Greg Mueller. Well, the former hockey player playing in those very comfortable pajamas. That's the way to play poker. <laughs> All right, action is going to be on Jason Stern, our chip leader. He looks down at ace three offsuit. Ops the land down this time. Jonas quickly folding at eight six. Now back on Mueller. He looks down at a jack four. I'm on. Oh, but Vince, the gloves have come off here. He's going all in on these guys. Yes, he has. And now Tom Schneider can't play with five deuce. Let's see if this move is going to work. It's on the Baker. He goes out. Yep. So power poker here by the former hockey player. It's working now. Uh, he's playing very solid short stack poker. It's that big smile that you only get when you steal pots. One thing I don't understand about him is as an ex-hockey player, how come he still has a few teeth left? That's a nice set of teeth. <laughs> Just doesn't make yeah. sense there. He's so tall, it's tough to hit him. World Poker Tour, Stanley Cup. Wow, very close. I played nine years professional hockey in Germany, and when I retired, I basically moved right in onto poker. It's very similar because they're both very competitive. I'm out of hockey right now, so I would have to say World Poker Tour title. Well, he's an incredible player, this guy. And a very popular one, too. In fact, he had all his friends flown out here from Canada to watch him play at the final table here on the World Poker Tour. Certainly, we've seen a lot of great Canadians out here on the World Poker Tour. Daniel Negreanu, the leading candidate for WPT Player of the Year from Canada, Gavin Smith. Back on Greg Mueller, and he's got a six of hearts this time. A little better hand than the last two. Yeah, you're in the top five. Top five says I'm all in. Wow, Vance going for the hat trick. Yeah. All in again here by FBT. What momentum. What's happening? And now the, FBT, and now Tom Schneider right behind him. He's got a wired pair of sevens here. I call. He's on a short stack, Vance. He's making a stand right here. 
Yes, he is. Michael Simon out. I don't think this this falls into the category of calling. Jason can't play. Oh, one over. Well, Tom's got the two walking sticks. And if his hand doesn't stand up, he'll be walking out of here in fifth place. Greg has him covered. But he's going to have to get lucky as he's about a two to one underdog to win this pot right now. But he won't be out even if he loses this pot. He'll still have some chips left. He has Tom covered. You know, there you can see the pajama bottoms we've been talking about on Greg Mueller. He wears them every time he plays poker, whether or not he's on a World Poker Tour final table or not. Nothing wrong with being comfortable at the table. <laughs> he's got more fans than you, I think. Well, the flop comes king, queen, six, Come on, six with one heart. So FBT has paired the sixes. He needs a six or an ace to take the lead. But right now, Tom Schneider still out in front. <laughs> they call him the donkey. Let's see what happens to the donkey. And nine of hearts at four flushes there, Greg. Now this gives Greg a flush draw, and you saw Tom Schneider moan when that heart came off. So he now has a pair of sixes and a flush draw against the two sevens. So the crowd chanting for FBT. They know he can win the pot with an ace, a six, or a heart. Will the two seven stand up? Here's the cash card. Well, it's a ten of spades, so they do stand up indeed. So the hockey player does not get the hat trick. But Vince Tom Schneider, we haven't talked much about him. Lives in Phoenix, retired businessman, jack of all trades, does everything. Likes to sing a little bit, been an expert in business. But what I love about him is he went to stand-up comedy school with his daughter. Now, that's the way you stay close to your family. Oh, this is going up and down like Kirstie Alley's waistline. One of these guys is going to take home over a million dollars. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. I have German parents, and they spoke German to me at home. And then playing their nine years, it polished me up so that I'm very fluent. I must good spielen. It just means I gotta play good. Poker is such a crazy game. If you have one lapse and you do something stupid, I mean, it could cost you a million bucks. Welcome back. The World Poker Challenge continues from Reno, Nevada. And right now, Jason Stern is our chip leader with about $2.3 million. And on the short stack, the former hockey player, FBT, Greg Mueller, with about 545,000. Oh, one of these guys going to capture a WPT title and over a million bucks. It is on the Baker. He goes out quietly with 10-4. I don't think his uh, his fans are teetotalers. Look at this, Vince. Jason Stern has picked oh. up yet another pair of kings. The fourth time at this final table, he's picked up two kings. 180. Incredible. And he's going to raise it, makes it 180,000 to go. This is baffling how you can pick up kings like that every time. And right behind him, though, Jonas with in. ace jack says he's going to go wow. all in with it. He has gone all in for 860,000 here. Before I look, what are, what are we looking at here? Trouble lurks, and now Greg change. No. hasn't looked yet. All right, 800 and change. Well, Eight he's change? on the short stack. Come on. Getting one his time. 15 minutes here. Yeah, that one's and he's saying one time, so let me pick one. up a big Duke. Nope, not this time. 6-5 goes out. Now Tom with queen jack can't play. And, of course, Ooh, Jason's going to call with the kings. Well, he's got the two kings, and as the cards lie, he's about a 70% favorite to win this pot and knock Jonas Norman out of this tournament. Well, if he got all in a happy. Well, the $6 man needs some help right here. A man that got into this tournament through many satellites online to build up enough money to play right now for the over the million dollars is right now circling the drain with his ace jack. His hopes to turn his $6 into a million on the line right now. He's got to get lucky to do it. Let's see if he can. Here we go with the flop. Oh, it's an ace 10 6. Jonas has out flopped him and now has the best hand with two aces. Oh, man. You could fry an egg on that head right now. Look at Jonas. Look at that. He gives it the arm pump. It is not over, but right now, all of a sudden, he's a 90% favorite to win this hand. Well, Jason needs a king or a running queen jack to win this pot. The eight of spades comes off. So with one card to go, Jonas Norman, 
about a 19 to 1 favorite. He's just got to dodge a king. Will the miracle continue for the six dollar man? Yes, it does. The three of diamonds comes off. So Jonas Norman is going to double up here and win a nice pot well over one point eight million dollars. What a story this Jonas Norman is the sales manager for a phone company. Now our chip leader. Well, you're right, Vince, and he just dialed in on Jason to double up here and take the chip lead in this tournament. Just incredible action we're seeing here tonight in Reno. These guys not afraid to go toe to toe. Action's going to be on FBT. Usual. He's got 10 5. Lays it down. Me too. Tom Schneider can't play with King Rapid Deuce. Fire. Michael out. Back to the same two guys that just battled it out a moment ago. Jason Stern picking up a nice hand. Ace Queen of Hearts in a small blind. He's going to raise it, makes it 180,000 to go. Jonas Norman, and look at this. He's got a pair of eights. A good hand against a small blind. Let's see how he's going to play him. Three race. Whoa. Three race. Well, he is coming over the top of his man. The same guy he just doubled up through a moment ago. Well, how many Jamie, times? How many times is he going to raise? You got to say how much. Oh, no, sorry. So just leave the two stacks out. Okay. You've got to raise it 108. Look at no, this. A little bit of a string bet there, and he was called on it. Uh, what, so what happened was Jonas was reaching back for his chips. He said raise, but once you make a motion toward the pot, if you don't announce the size of the raise, that's all you can put out there. And this shows you the lack of experience of Jonas Norman in a real live setting. He's making it. He's making it. Too. He can make it 240,000 is what they're going to allow. So they're going to cut him down to the bare minimum of the raises. That should be it. That's the raise. Are, are we settled? Are we? Are we done now? Are we done now? I'm all in. Well, look at this. Jason says after we've settled all this, I'm going all in. If he can beat this hand, good luck to him. And look at Jonas is going to call it. Well, Jonas has called him. And we have the classic race situation. We've got two eights against the ace queen hearts. The under pair versus the two over cards. If Jonas wins this pot, he will eliminate Jason Stern from this tournament. Here we go with the flop, Mike. Well, an ace right in the door. It's come in, says Jack. Just a couple of them. <laughs> when you see Jason, who's been very calm and stoic at this final table, Finally shows some elation when he spiked the aces on the flop. Now, Jonas can still win this pot by catching an eight. That would give him a full house. Eight's full of aces, but he's got to have an eight, Vince. Otherwise, Jason Stern is going to double up and again take the chip lead. Well, there's two left in the deck. Will he hit one? Not there, he won't. It's a two of clubs. So right now, he must catch one of the two eights remaining in the deck if he's going to eliminate Jason Stern from this tournament. A monster pot here. Jonas needs an eight. Going down to the river, here it comes. Well, it's an ace. Jason has caught four of a kind. That's a little bit of overkill. And you can see him jumping around. Finally, he says, I get a break here. And the sales manager, Jonas Norman, a good sport, shakes his hand. That was a massive pot, close to $2.8 million. Now we have a new chip leader. Well, you're right, Vince. And the sales manager of the phone company dialed the wrong number there, and it cost him. Yes, he did. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more exciting action here on the World Poker Tour. Got nine lives, You used up Jonas, I don't know what the heck he's doing, and sometimes I'm not sure if he knows what he's doing. And that makes him dangerous. I found that he's overly aggressive at the wrong time. I think he makes bad laydowns. Not real impressed with his play, but he could be the one to take me down. Welcome back to the final table of the World Poker Challenge. I'm Courtney Friel, and here are some of the highlights of the game so far. Challenge. The early favorite made an early exit. Get the book, huh? And left the race for a million dollar first prize wide open. Now, an aggressive amateur battles a hockey player on thin ice. While a baker with dreams of destiny struggles against a player seemingly destined to win. Five players remain in this Wild West shootout, but only one will stake his claim to a seven figure payday and the title of WPT champion. Welcome back to Reno, Nevada, where six players are being tested here at the World Poker Challenge. 
Well, the antis and blinds are going up. $10,000 antis, and the blinds are going to be 50 and 100. And right there, we saw Jonas Norman just devastated, going from chip leader now to the short stack. Action's going to be on the baker, who's been baking very quiet lately. Man, the oven's been on simmer here lately. He throws this hand away as well. Yes, he does. Isn't that a florist? Jason FTB? goes out no, with queen FTB. six, and now Jonas Norman with king eight. My humor's getting a little the bit button. better. I mean, I'm working. He's got the king high. I'm he's on in. the button, and he's going oh, yeah. all in with it, Vince. Yes. He is doing it right here. He is plunging. He is tilting like a three-legged bar stool, pushing it in. Well, FBT says, how much is it to me? Well, FBT I'm has a pretty good hand, King Jack. Wow, he's going all in, too. So yeah. everybody loving the King Highs, going all in with him. Tom Schneider peeks down a jack four spades, can't play. So right now, the former the hockey player is in a dominating position to win this spot and eliminate Jonas Norman from this tournament. It's King Jack for FBT, King 8 for Jonas Norman. Please, nothing goofy, nothing goofy. He's got King King oh, King there you hear the hockey player just saying, nothing goofy. Just normal cards out there where I'll win. I'm over a two to one favorite to win. Why can't my hand hold up here sometime? Please, nothing silly. One time, nothing silly. <laughs> He's very, being, trying to be very optimistic here. Well, you know, you can tell he's been around poker for quite a while, Vince. He knows anything's possible. Uh, jack ball right away. Let's he'll be ask. fitting in that straight jacket pretty good if he doesn't work this one out. Here's Here the, flop. the flop. Well, it's 9-9-7. So far, so good for FBT. Pajama boy out in front with his Queen king ball, jack. Well, now Jonas is going to have to have some serious help now. Gonna have to catch an eight or hit two running cars to make a straight. There it is. He's hit the eight on the turn. And FBT cannot believe it. Oh, that is stunning. Well, it's not over, though, Vance. He can still catch a 10 or a jack to win this pot, but that's what he's going to have to have if he's going to take Jonas Norman out of this tournament right now. We are going down to the river. Here it comes. Well, it's an ace. <laughs> and FBT wondering what has happened here. This ice has got a lot of cracks in it. Jeez. Okay. Sits back down with a disgusted look. Right now, it's like he was blindsided by an opponent on the ice. Jonas Norman taking the king eight and beating the king jack to stay alive in this tournament. Well, Mike, there is a lot of money on the line tonight, which actually is no exception to the tournaments we've seen all season long. Well, that's right, Vince. Each week we've seen fresh faces as well as old favorites make it to our final tables. But no matter who's there, it's still all about the poker. Oh, don't forget about your friend, the money, Mike, okay? And in case you forget anything else, in this week's WPT Poker Academy, this season's road to the championship. It's been a pretty good year. I opened it off uh, with the first event of the season at the Mirage, winning the tournament. If all the rest of the events are anything like this, we're in for a great year. Victory for Alex Gahana. Al Artemili, our champion, rolling the one. He has done it. Oh, you always have a memory when you win, so I'm trying to do it again. Name is Stingley. He's the champion. At 21 years young, Nick Schulman has captured the World Poker Finals Championship. He is over $2 million richer. Never before have we seen such an onslaught. Oh! How sweet that is. He has captured his second World Poker Tour title. Oh. He did it. He is our new champion. Winning was everything. Other places to me were all the same. What a final this has been. What a tournament. Talking about incredible life-changing money at stake. One of the highest prize pools in the history of the game will be at stake at our WPT Championship. Well, the buy-in is $25,000 per player. We're expecting around 600 players. That means a prize pool of well over $14 million. And the championship first prize will be close to $4 million. Jonas this time looks down at ace queen, says all in with it. Yep, he's pulling the trigger for his last 440. Greg quickly folding his hand. And Tom looking down at Dolly Parton, 9 to 5. Well, throws it away in disgust, just not catching any cards. Baker going out. 
We are around to Jason Stern. He is our chip leader. He looks down a jack nine of diamonds. And what do you do now? Chip went down. And then the chip closed down. That's at least some excitement. Three, three and it cost him 340,000 more to make this call. Bring the 100 into it. Dealer, bring 100 in the middle. Well, you yeah. see the agony that he's facing. Yeah. Well, the beauty of being a chip leader is that you can gamble with hands like this if you want to and still be the chip leader and have chips left over. I guess you got to gamble at some point. I call. Yeah, wow. but he's going to do this. As the cars lie, he's about a two to one underdog to win this pot. And these two guys have been going at it consistently here at this final table. Right now, Jonas Norman out front with the ace queen. Nearly a million dollars in this pot. And the six dollar man must win it to stay alive. Look at Jason. Looks like he's been told he's got six months to live. I bet he's still going to have two million in chips even if he loses this pot. And look at this flop. Well, the queen hits the board. That's good for Jonas. Notice that Jason has the gut shot straight draw. He could take the lead if a 10 comes off. Right now, Jonas in great shape with two queens. Well, a jack comes off. Now notice what happens if a 10 comes off. Jonas will have a higher straight, an ace high straight. So a 10 won't help Jason now. He must catch exactly a jack or a nine. That is it. If he doesn't catch a jack or a nine, Jonas Norman is going to double up here. Here we go to the river card. What will it be? Sweden, the $6 man is going to be eliminated. He's going to take away $113,000. Well, just a wonderful week here from the guy from Sweden, Jonas Norman. He was the talk of this final table. Cinderella at the ball playing in his second live tournament ever. Almost pulled it off. Oh, but we are down to four players at Reno. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more exciting action here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. 592 players started. We are down to four. Winner's going to take home over a million dollars. I'm Vince Van Patten. I'm sitting here with Mike Sexton, and this is a good one, Mike. Well, it really is, especially for Jason Stern, at least thus far. He is the monster chip leader, closing in on $3 million worth of chips. Yes, he is, and it's right back on Jason, this time looking down at Jack Seven, brimming with confidence right now. It's a bad well, the second place chip guy, Tom Schneider, only has 1.3 million. So a monster chip lead for Jason. And look at this, Vince. He is going to raise it with a jack seven offsuit, taking advantage of his chip position. Greg folding his king five. Now Tom Schneider has to go out with his four three. Only one more man to beat. That would be the baker, Michael Simon. Well, he goes out. So the pot again going to Jason Stern and the rich get richer. Yes, they do. So Jason Stern showing you how to play power it's poker when you've got the chip lead at a final table. <laughs> All right, action's going to be on Tom Schneider. The Unabomber lookalike. While the hood went off, he's trying a new method. Doesn't really help. He has only an 8-6 goes out. 600,000. And wow. now the baker winds up with a king-queen. Well, he's bet 600,000 out of his million here on king High. Or can I change it to 100? Oh. Jason Stern looking down at a nine, three of diamonds. He goes out, and now Greg wow. has ace eight off suit. Because you got about FBT. Wondering right why the baker would bet so much money if he had a real good hand. Wouldn't he bet less than that? Wouldn't he want people in the pot? First time you have him moved in, 600. God. The former hockey player trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together here. Because the WPT whole cam brought to you by Budweiser, we can see that he has the best hand with the ace high. There, you're that not going to be up there, though. That was good, man. If you do it real fast, you can be. It's no, no, you can't. No, you can't look fast enough to see yourself. 375, 70. But still, he's only got a little over 700,000 left in chips. Is this the hand he wants to send him in the pot? Plus that 740. What do you got? You got a million? God, I could hurt you, huh? I think Greg wants a conversation here. 600. Well, 
This is the method of trying to probe your opponent for information, talking to them at the table. Vince, I know you like to do that. Yeah. You love to get your opponents talking where you might pick up something on them. Let's see if the baker's going to say anything. Right now, it looks like he's in the silent mode. Sorry, you guys. Give me one sec here. No need to be sorry. Only playing for a mill. No big deal. I don't usually take this guy out. It's about 142,000. Winner gets over a million. All right, I call. Oh, he's yeah. doing it. Now, he put all his chips out there, but he said, I call. Verbal bets are binding, so that means he's only going to be allowed to put in 600,000 here. But I have no doubt that the other 130,000 is going to go in there. It doesn't matter what comes on the flop. How much? Yeah. <laughs> He is going to send the rest of it in there as soon as the flop gets out there. What a strong How call by Greg play? Mueller. He went with his gut instinct, Vince. How much and as left? far as the cards lie, his instincts were correct. Indeed, he has the best hand. Yeah, but he's putting a slap shot into the Baker. 140. It's going in in the smoke. You know, $1.3 million out there. He said it's going in in the dark. And pajama man gets up from the table. So he's betting the dark already. And he doesn't care what comes out there. Get the best hand. Watch this. Here comes the flop. Well, the flop uh, comes the king, king five four. That's right, I hit the I king. You. I told he you. Shows oh boy. Ace of hearts, eight of spades. Well, wow. King, queen. No ace. He was exactly right. He Go said, ahead. "I knew I had the best hand when the money went in." Indeed, he did. And right now, he's going to have to have some help to outdraw his opponent to stay alive. Now, Greg is talking of aimless people out there right now. Anyone that'll listen. Well, in the meantime, the Baker holding his breath here. He just wants to get this over with and be down to three players. God, I knew I had the best ten. Well, here we go with the turn card. What will it be? Well, it's a ten of hearts. Oh, don't boy. do it. Don't do it. Come on, no. We Come are on. down no to the river, no and the former hockey player's got to have a Come bullet, on, or he's going to be shot down in fourth place. Grabbing paraphernalia, glasses, knapsacks to get out of here quickly. Can he do it? No. It's a queen. Michael Simon has made two pair of kings and queens. He has taken Greg Mueller, FBT, out of this tournament. Excellent call, my man. Well, say goodnight to the pajama boy. He is out in fourth place. You know why I called? You know why I called? Because when I started talking to him, he says, yeah, you're playing for a million bucks. Right then I knew he didn't want me to call. As he walks away, he'll pick up $142,000. And right now, the baker has got to be excited. We are down to three. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Players dropping by the wayside. We are down to three in Reno. Well, it's come down to two amateur players and one professional. Right now, our chip leader, the pro player, Jason Stern. He has a little over three million in chips. Action is going to be on Tom Schneider from Phoenix, Arizona. This time, looks down at a big hand, big slick ace king. Let's shoot it up. Well, shoot it up, Buttercup, no. he says. No, I said 350, but it's got to be 360. He's going to make it 350,000 to go. No, 350 is works. 350 does work. 350. I said. I said 350, so I shall live with 350. And now it is on Michael. He looks down at King Seven. Damn, we're playing for over a quarter of a million right now, aren't we? It's not that much. <laughs> Michael Simon, the Baker, very happy. Really? Knows the worst he's going to take home that. is over a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> he could get it over a half million or even over a million. I fools. I don't want to be even thinking for it. Well, he lays his hand down around to our chip leader, Jason Stern, who looks down an ace three offsuit. You don't look bad on TV, either, dude. A little shiny, but. Come on. Wow. Vince, he has gone all in with an ace three offsuit here. That's my race. I call. Potential disaster right here for Jason Stern. Well, the retired businessman, Tom Schneider, in great shape here, not only to double up, but to take the chip lead for the first time at this final table. Two, three, four, end it. Jason Stern might have misstepped here. He's gone all in with ace three. He's up against ace king. Here's the flop. Well, flop has come queen seven five. So far, so good for Tom Schneider. He's out front with the ace king for Jason to win this pot. He's going to have to have two runners to make a straight, two runners to make a flush, or hit the lovely three. Well, there's one of the straight cards. A six comes off. 
Now that means that Jason can win this pot with a three or a four. On the turn. He's going to need a lucky suck out. Otherwise, the donkey will pick up this pot and become our new chip leader. Here it is. Well, he's down in advance. The yeah. six of spades is a river card. Tom Schneider has taken the chip lead for the first time tonight. Well, there is pain in Reno for Jason Stern, giving up a lot of chips to his man. Well, Vance, I don't think he's happy with his own play right there. 13 or 12, well, 12 as you know, Mike, you think the guy's trying to steal it with the button. You think you're probably stronger with the ace high. You can bomb him out of there. But not to be. He ran up against a big one. Does anybody else get any bad cards around here? I've been getting nothing but bad cards. The ace. So just that quick, Tom Schneider from Arizona has taken the chip lead here with three players left. All in. And look at this. Jason Stern going all in with two ducks, two deuces. Yes, he has played aggressively. Let's look at yeah. Tom's hand. I mean, I to get good cards. It's an ace queen of spades, and he quickly calls it. Wow, he's quickly called him here, Vance. You can't blame him. So here we have a race situation. The two deuces, a slight favorite to win this pot over the ace queen. But hold your breath, folks, because this pot has nearly three and a half million dollars in it. This hand could well determine the outcome of this championship. The biggest pot we've seen so far tonight on the line right now. Well, the flop is Jack Jack six. So far, Jason Stearns two deuces out front. Right now, he's got to dodge an ace, a queen, or a six. Can his deuces hold up? Here comes Fourth Street. Well, it's a king. Now Jason bobs his head because that gives a tremendous amount of outs, as we a say six, to Tom. Ten, ace, Tom can oh win God. this pot with an ace, a king, a queen, a ten, or a six. Here we come down to the river. Can the duck stand up? It's a jack. He's made a full house. Jason Stern. The pair has finally held up. Jason Stern can't hardly believe it. And look at his fans in the audience going crazy. The 33-year-old from San Jose, California, once again becomes our chip leader. <laughs> the pressure, the lights, everything getting to Jason Stern, it looks like tonight. Well, let me tell you something, Vince. When you've been a poker dealer most of your life, and then you turn poker pro and have been a pro for one year and have an opportunity to play in a $10,000 event like this because you want a satellite to play for a million bucks is life-changing money. <laughs> so much at stake for this guy tonight. Round and round well, the man's come a long way from getting oh, stiffed at the God. poker table. While dealing, <laughs> I mean, just think about the oh, excitement man. where he's come from a professional like dealer that. before in poker, and now he's here at the <laughs> final three on the World Poker out. Tour, going after over a million dollars. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He made the right decision getting out of the box and jumping oh, to the other God. side of the table wherever he finishes tonight. All right, Great. action right back on Jason. This time got a six. He's going to raise. <laughs> I got a million. Well, not quite up. Well, it's like 80 and 160 still. All in. And he's going to go all in with it. Well, he's going to put his opponents to the sense. test of picking up a big hand because they're going to have to to play with him Tom when has, he moves all in. Tom goes out with nothing. But look at this. The Baker has a pair of tens. He's made the call. Yes, he does. God. Every hand, somebody's got something. Every single hand. So back and forth we go. Just exciting drama on every single deal here tonight in Reno. Favorite don't win much. Though. Agony in the making here for one of these two guys. And here comes the flop. It's come king, queen, eight with two spades. And right now, two tens are standing Use the tall. Use spades. Make it exciting. Well, an eight comes off. Jason Stern must catch an ace to eliminate the baker, Michael Simon, from this tournament. Hey. And you see Michael Simon's wife in the background there holding her breath. Please, no way. She can't even watch. Well, it's a nine. So the baker sits back down. And now he takes the chip lead. Oh, this is just incredible. Well, I don't know who the more pressure is on, Vance. Wives and girlfriends or the players themselves. 
Everybody seems to be agonizing tonight in Reno. Well, call the medics for Jason Stern. Just a roller coaster for him. Remove all sharp objects. And Vince, Jason Stern was the youngest player at this final table, 33 years old. But I guarantee you, he's aging a lot here tonight. <laughs> We're at the Reno Hilton at the World Poker Challenge. There's a lot more exciting action to come, so don't go away. Well, we're down to three players right now. 592 started. You got to open up your game. You got to pray, and you got to have courage right now. You know, and usually we're used to seeing the young guns out in the World Poker Tour. The guys in their 20s making the WPT final tables. It didn't happen this week. We didn't have anybody in their 20s make it to this final table. Well, right now, Tom Snyder putting the hood back on. Got King 4 offsuit. But he still well, can't play. Now around to the Baker. I would encourage again, but I know it won't work. Just King 5. Tagging has been working. Blinds are stiff. 80 and 160. Gonna raise it. Well, he is going to raise it. 500,000. Sure. Wow. He makes it a half million to go. With just King high, and now... Well, it's a good bet. The King High is a favorite over a random hand. So there's and Jason cannot call, so the Baker's going to pick up another one. Well, Vince, you got to love this guy. He's been a Baker for 30 years, been married for 29 years. You know, wives don't leave you when you can cook good, Vince. Maybe that was our problem. You got a very good point. You got to have that little <laughs> extra sweetness there. Well, Vance, right now, our chip leader is Jason Stern, the pro player, with about 2.6 million in chips. Michael Simon, the baker, in second, a little over 2.4 million, and Tom Schneider, just less than a million in third place. If one of us got a 10-minute penalty, I guarantee they'd be out of the tournament. All right, well, the donkey bomber, hooded once again, looks down at King, three of diamonds this time, on the button. Tom Schneider. Well, he's he now on the short stack with less than a million. Both his opponents have about two and a half million. Come on, Lynn. Well, he is going to do it here. He's going all in with the king three of diamonds. Baker well, going out. Michael lays down a king four. And let's look at Jason's hand. He's got an ace, <laughs> deuce of clubs. Why did I look at the second card? God. Well, you can tell he sweated the ace off first. And unfortunately for him, the deuce came second. And now what to do? Jason apparently woke up with another ace. Of course. My usual. Well, Jason Stern busy. faced with another tough decision at this table. And Vince, you know, he actually started this final table with a full head of hair. And he has rubbed it off. And it's fallen out here with these tough decisions he's had to make. I didn't even know. Suited! That means there's not two of them. That's good news for me. Oh, the other card's no good. You can't have it. me beat this time, though. I don't know if I really want to go 60-40. Let's gamble, I call. Wow, he is gambling here with the ace high. Well, he has made an exceptional call. This one if you guys don't Boy, mind. has he ever. He's a little over a three to two favor to win this pot. And remember, Michael threw a king away. So that takes one of Tom's outs away from him. Tom Schneider must win this pot to stay alive. Otherwise, we'll be down to heads up play. No matter what. Five cards remaining. Here we go with the first three. Well, the flop comes five, four, deuce. Now notice what's happened. Tom Schneider has flopped an open-ended straight with a backdoor diamond flush draw. Tom's wife, Julie Schneider, rooting her man on. Can he suck out here? Here comes fourth street. Well, it's a three. Oh, wow. Well, and look what has happened. Jason has made a straight and a straight flush draw. All that can happen for Tom now is he can catch a straight and tie this hand. If a six comes off or an ace comes off, but the six can't be the six of clubs. So he is in dire straits here, cannot win the pot. The best he can do is tie and stay alive. Will this to be the demise of the donkey bomber? Well, the Black Widow, the Queen of Spades, comes up. So that is going to do it. Jason Stern making the wheel to take his man out. He made a good call. He got a good payoff. And that is going to do it for the aspiring stand-up comedian. Great effort by Tom Schneider. He has to go home. He is our third-place finisher. Thanks, Thank you. Well,
shots. Hugs all around for Tom Schneider. And why not? He's taking home over a quarter of a million dollars. Our third place finisher he is out here in Reno, Tom Schneider. All right. It's time for our money presentation, and they don't do it any better anywhere in the world than they do it here in Reno. <laughs> Check this out, man. All right, the stagecoach door is open. All right, out come the Reno girls. That's some nice outfits. Well, they're bringing out the saddlebags. Our own Courtney Frio following them behind. With the WPT chipset. Oh, man, she got to love this. Yeehaw! Ride them, cowboy. Pretty girls, plenty of cash, live horses. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. Three days ago, 592 players put up $5,000 each to take a shot at this title. Well, our current chip leader is the professional player, Jason Stern. He's got a little over $3.4 in chips. And the baker, Michael Simon, the amateur player, with about $2.5 Well, let's get right to it. On Michael Simon, the baker, with the button, he's got 8-7. Well, he limps in and calls. And now Jason Stern with just an awful eight deuce. I'm gonna raise. Raise. Has the option to raise, and yes, he's going to raise with his junk. 320, more. Makes right, it 320,000 to go. And the baker says, we're gonna call that serving <laughs> volume, and dumps his hand, a little oh, trickery there. I got it, I got it. I will. There's a lot more big time poker action to come from the biggest little city in the world. So stick around, we're coming back. Welcome back to the Reno Hilton and the World Poker Challenge, where we are one step closer to finding out who's going to be this season's final WPT champion. And Vince Jason Stern, a guy who spent most of his life dealing, now a poker pro. You know what a life-changing event this is if you capture this million bucks and a WPT title. And it's on the button right now, and he's got a real hand. Ace-10 offsuit, and he makes a move up to 480000 to go. Michael Simon has Queen Nine offsuit. He's got 160,000 in the pot. It's going to cost him 320 more to make the call. You look like you want to make this the last hand. Oh, Jason saying, looks like you want to make this the last That's hand. Not nine four. <laughs> I'm going to call. Well, he's making the call here. He's going to gamble with the Queen Nine. So it's cost him another 320,000 to call, and he does so. Nice little table talk by Jason. Hmm. Well, let's see if he's happy he got him involved in this pot. Here comes a flop. Oh, a nice flop for Jason. It's come a 6 6, and action is on Michael. Nothing materializing for Michael. He checks it. Now, Jason has flopped top pair. He's got the two aces. See how he's going to play it. He checks the bench. He's slow playing him. I love this play by this guy. Uh, he's going to try to milk something out of him here. Here we go with the turn card. Well, the ten of diamonds comes on the turn. Now that gives Jason aces up. He's got aces and tens. Well, there goes Michael. He checks again. Well, it's hard to check again if you're Jason in this spot, because you wouldn't want your opponent to hit a gut shot straight on you to tap you out. 500. He's going to bet a half million this time. I love the way he's played this hand, Vince. Not a flush draw, is it? Now, Michael Simon is drawing completely dead, as you can see. I guess I'm not that funny anymore. Well, <laughs> he's not that funny, but he's smart enough to get away from that hand and not lose any more money to it. Grandma would have been proud on that one. No funny business. Back to the kitchen. So Jason Stern building his chip lead up slowly but surely. Right now the Andes are going up once again to $30,000. And the blinds a massive 120 and 240. Well, that's the blinds are so high now. We're coming down to close to being a showdown contest. All right, let's go down to the table. It is going to be on. Jason, Come he's on. got seven deuce. He goes all in here with junk hand. Well, this is the worst starting hand you can have in Hold'em. 
But the baker right behind him has King Deuce. Now, King Deuce is the kind of hand you might move in if you acted first, but I can't imagine you're going to call an all-in bet here with the King Deuce offsuit. But well, the baker Tight call. could use Grandma's wow. help. Look at this. He's made an amazing call. Well, he is making the call. And, Vince, you have to say that Jason made a tactical error here. I figured at some point you're going to keep pimping me. I got this on. I understand that. Wow. I just didn't want to see King what a Deuce. play by Michael Simon. Vince, I couldn't have made that call with a King Deuce I'll offsuit for all my money up, when a man moved all in in front of me. He's drawn dead. Seven oh, Deuce down. versus King Deuce. Michael Simon, the baker, is going to be a nice size favorite over Jason Stern. But if the baker should get unlucky, it would be all over for him. And we would have another WPT champion. Well, as the cards lie, Michael's about a three to one favorite to win this pot. Let's see if he can do it. Well, a king comes right off on the flop. It's come king, jack, nine. Uh, and so unless it comes seven, try. seven, or eight, ten, that is going to do it ten for Jason in this pot. Ten, six. Ten queen will ten be eight. okay. Ten, eight or ten queens a chop. Well, there's the ten. Yeah. Now, what this means is Jason can get a split. If a queen comes off, they'll both have a king eye straight. He can win the pot if an eight comes off. So he is drawing thin, but he's not dead. Things could get ugly very fast here. We're going down to the river. A title on the line at this moment. Bear the board. It's a nine of diamonds. So Michael Simon doubles up. And what a call he made with the King Deuce there, Vince. Yeah, he didn't even think about it much. He makes a quick call with King Deuce. Good instincts by the baker, Michael Simon. Well, Vince, you just have to wonder if Jason Stern should have backed off the accelerator there and just thrown the seven deuce away. I mean, easy said when it's over with and he lost the pot, but when you got over a three to one chip lead on your opponent, do you really need to gamble like that for all your chips by moving in with a seven deuce offsuit? I'm not so sure. The line's just massive at this point. 120 and 240. And let's see if he continues to stay aggressive. All right, back down on the green felt on the baker. This time he's got queen, eight of clubs. A nice starting hand. Well, he is going to limp in on the button and make the call. And Jason Stern. There is a five deuce, but that's not going to slow him down. 660 total. Look at this, Vince. He is raising the pot again with a five deuce here. He is raising the pot 420,000. Wait, that's right. What a brood of the call. table. But he gets a quick call down by Michael the Baker. Well, Michael's had enough of his antics. He's going to play with him. The guy has been raising every single hand of this heads up match with an eight deuce, a seven deuce, and now a five deuce. Well, Incredible. Got the five deuce versus the queen eight. Here comes the flop. Well, the flop is ace seven three. So Jason has flopped a gut shot straight draw and action is on him. He only has five high, remember. 450. Well, he's betting 450,000. With the gut shot straight throw. Wow, a lot of courage with that bet. That gave me a crick in my neck. Well, Michael says he's got a crink in his neck, and I can't blame him. This bad. He only has a queen eight here. None of that flop hit him at all. But what he's wondering is, why would this guy only bet 450000 into a pot that has about $1.4 million? Looks like a post-oak bluff to him. Could he possibly be thinking about coming over the top of this guy, Vince? Saying he's pot committed, but in fact, he's nowhere near pot committed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael does lay down the hand. So chalk up yet another pot to Jason on aggressiveness. Just incredible. He's raised every hand of this heads up match. Vince, and I'm talking about raising when his opponent is called. He had an eight deuce, a seven deuce, and now a five deuce. Just amazing. Incredible action in Reno. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more exciting action in just a moment. Welcome back to the World Poker Challenge at the Reno Hilton in Reno, Nevada. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. Two players remain. 
Jason Stern, the ever aggressor in this heads up battle, has literally raised every single pot of this match, and it's working for him, Vince. He has built up a huge chip lead now. He's got over 4.7 million in chips. Michael Simon down to 1.2 million. And the ante's going up again to 50,000. Blind's going to be 200 and 400 thousand dollars. Jason Stern has picked up big slick on the button. Come on. He is going all in here, and you can't blame Michael. him. And Michael Simon is going to call with just King Six. So right now, Michael Simon in dire straits here. Jason Stern over a three to one favorite to win this pot and capture this title. And the Baker now knowing it doesn't look too good. He's getting some paraphernalia together. Some baking equipment, it seems like. Well, getting ready to pack it up. Put the glasses away, getting the apron back out, but it is not over. <laughs> it's ace king of hearts for Jason. King six for Michael. It has been a long battle. And look at this, the smile on Jason Stern's face. Well, why not, Vince? He's one hand away from becoming a World Poker Tour champion and taking home over a million bucks. Here come the first three. You got Big Slick versus King Six. Here we go. Oh. Well, it's never easy. The flop has come seven, five, four. And now Michael can win the pot with a three, a six, or an eight. Wow. Can you believe this? Jason Stern with Big Slick has to sweat out the Baker catching it straight. Here comes the turn card. Well, it's a 10 o'clock. Not to be on the turn. So Jason Stern, one card away from accomplishing a dream, from taking home over a million bucks and being a WPT champion. He's got to dodge an eight, a six, or a three on the river. Here comes the cash card. Yes! It's a six. He did it, man. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, Jason Stern, shell shot. The trophy was on the mantle, the cash in the bank. All he had to do was dodge a river card. He couldn't do it. Oh, and Jason just reeling in with pain. Vince, you got to feel the pain for this guy. I mean, your dream as a poker pro to capture a WPT title. Unfortunately for him, Lady Luck biting him on the river there. Wow, why not? That's right, bro. That's right, Mike. Why not? Well, a massive meltdown here. For Jason Stern, will the meltdown continue? We will see. Blind still 200 and 400. Action's going to be on Michael Simon. And look at this with King Four. He says all in. Well, he knows King High is a favorite over random two cards. And indeed, he has the best hand because Jason's picked up a Jack Eight offsuit. Well, it's going to cost him. Another 1.3 million to make this call. 700, 1 million, 1,200, 1.3, 2, 4, 7, 1 million, 2. Well, is he going to make a stand here? That's the question. Well, he probably thinks he's behind at this point. It would be a point. sick call if I made this call. But then he's saying, this guy can get lucky on me. Well, Maybe I can get lucky on him. These blinds are so ridiculous. If he wins this pot, he would take the chip lead once again in this battle. Of course, if he plays the hand and loses it, Michael Simon will be our champion. <laughs> Everybody's going to laugh when I turn this hand over. <laughs> Let's gamble, I call. Well, he's going to make the call here. Yes, he is. And he's not going to be too disappointed when he sees Michael's hand, which is a king four. He's not that big of an underdog to win the I'm pot. Dead. And you know he's saying to himself, if there's any justice, let me outdraw him one time. Well, he deserves a little break. He's thinking to himself, I can do this. The Baker does it all the time. And now we'll see if he can do it. And for the first time tonight, the Baker is in position to take the title. Here we go with the first three. Well, the flop comes ace, queen, three. No help to either player. So right now, Michael out front with the king high. I got the best straight draws. Jason draw. Stern is going to need some help. Yeah, yes, that. he is. He needs to catch a jack or an eight or two running cards to make a straight. There's the jack. He got the jack. He is taking the lead, Vince. He, is got, he got the jack. Well, what a card. 
Finally, some justice, perhaps, for Jason. Jason is going to double up unless a 10 or a king comes. 10 or a king. Here we go down the river. Oh, no. It's a king. And another devastating bad beat at the river for Jason Stern. He can't believe it, Vince. How many times can it happen in one night? Shock, disbelief. Vince, all you can say, it just wasn't meant to be for Jason Stern in his heads up battle. No, Mike, this was a game of destiny for Michael Simon. He's our new champion. great entertainment for us tonight you know a baker for 30 years you come in you make it to the final table of a world poker tour event you take this title and over a million bucks home with you was it destiny did you think you were going to do it all the time it is destiny there's no question in my mind that's it what else, how, how else could that have happened I mean, you were you you saw it <laughs> uh, well i gotta tell you vince and i were saying you know we've never seen more devastating back-to-back -back beats in the history of the world poker tour than we saw here but you know, that happens in poker. You know, everybody takes bad beats. Sometimes you get good ones. Tonight was your night. Destiny was on your side. You are our champion. In addition to the, your over a million dollars first prize that you're taking home, Courtney Friel is now also going to give you a $25,000 entry into the WPT World Championship event next week. Who knows? You next can week? win millions more. And that was the custom on the World Poker Tour. It's time to toast our champion with Budweiser, the official beer of the World Poker Tour. Friday, sometimes truth is scarier than fiction. The team from Most Haunted explores dark corners in search of the supernatural. It's most unpredictable, most chilling, most haunted. Friday at 9, only on the Travel Channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may all your cars be live and your pots be monsters. Yeah.